What's up everybody, the Poets here, and I want to go over some features of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 to make this a more interesting and usable experience. It is a awkward display in terms of the front display as well as when you open it up. Both are entirely usable in their own ways, but this larger display is what I'm going to kind of cover today because there's certain applications that work perfectly fine, like email and Word documents. There's others that have a little bit of an issue, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, things that I might use on a daily basis. So let's go over this. There's an application called GoodLock that you can get from the Galaxy Store, and it recently got updated due to the Samsung One UI 3.0 update. That's a mouthful, but when you have these updates, some things break, and GoodLock just got updated. So let me show you how I like to use GoodLock to make this a much more enjoyable experience. So as it's a beautiful day here in Los Angeles, I'm on the balcony just reading Twitter, and you'll see that John Redinger is hiding from his kids. I'm sure it's just hide and go seek. But Twitter is definitely full screen, and you have to do a lot of scrolling. So we have the option with GoodLock to adjust that. And you'll see a lot of applications inside of GoodLock. Each one definitely deserves its own video, but we're going to focus on Multistar. This is the one that will give us that flexibility to adjust things like the Galaxy foldable screen. So you'll see here a set aspect ratio for each app. That's a beautiful thing. So we can really customize this to our liking. And I have a lot of applications, as you can see as I'm scrolling through. And I use this Z Fold 2 for so many things that I actually got rid of my iPad Pro because it just collected dust and was really good at that. So when we get to the Twitter app and touch it, you'll see different aspect ratios as an option and full screen 16 by 9 you know all the common ones so let's set up 16 by 9 first and you can see the difference compared to full screen so it's narrow you get the bars on the side which i'm perfectly fine with because i get to see more on the screen so let's try a different one and you'll see the 18.5 by 9 which is going to be even more narrow but you should be able to scroll a little bit less so it's really up to you in terms of how you want to consume your own uh, Twitter information. And let's try another one. 4x3 is going to be very close to full screen, as you can tell. So just slim bars on the left and right hand side. And you still have to do a lot of scrolling to get the information that you want. So going back here to full screen, you'll see it's a slight difference. If you like Twitter this way, hey, you have that as an option. For me, that's a bit too much scrolling. And yes, I'm being lazy. So let's go back to 16 by 9, which is actually my preferred way to have this set for Twitter. I really like this a lot. And I wonder if John's kids found him. Hmm. So let's go with Instagram now. And loading up GoodLock allows us to actually search for it as well, so we don't have to scroll through everything. And right from here, you can get an option for all of the aspect ratios as well. So let's go with the default view first. So you have a frame of reference as to what this looks like on the Z Fold 2. And you'll notice right away, the pictures are definitely large. And so let's go to my page and feel free to like, follow, subscribe, and share and all that good stuff coming to my page on Instagram. Now you'll notice here that everything is pretty large so large so that some photos are actually going to be cut off from either top to bottom so let's adjust that a little bit let's go back and select four by three and when you just go right back to instagram it'll reset and you'll notice that you can see a little bit more of some of these photos and you can see a little bit more when you're scrolling as well look at that fine devil at micro center go bills so you don't have to scroll as much to see a photo. You can see an entire photo there, but it's not a true solution though. So we may have to still make some adjustments. So going back to good luck, let's try another aspect ratio, 18.5 by nine. This one is definitely a narrow view and it's an obvious difference. Some people like this view, you can see a lot more of the smaller icons. Therefore, if you're looking for a particular picture or video, this may be the resolution that you're looking for. In this aspect ratio, it's definitely easier just to quickly scroll through Instagram. And I don't know, I kind of like it overall. So let's try another one. 
16 by 9. This is the one that I use for Twitter. And it's kind of my favorite for Instagram as well. And you can see here that the photos are a bit more manageable compared to full screen or even 4x3. And yet they're still fairly large as well. Look at that fine double there. So overall, the options are really yours. This is a nice feature about good luck. So let's go to full screen, just so you can really see the difference again. Definitely some large full screen photos there, but they're more than full screen. Some of them definitely get cut off on the top and the bottom. So it's more about what you want, what you're looking for. Do you want to be able to see things really close up, like my face, not too shabby, or just be able to see more of everything, scrolling less. So here's a good example. For Deo Drive, this fine gentleman is walking his pig with pink nails, yeah, or hose, I guess, pig. And uh, yeah, it was unexpected, but you can see the video is cut off on the top and bottom. So let's go back and kind of compare. Let's just change the aspect ratio from full screen to, you know, so let's say four by three. So now you're somewhat familiar with some of these pictures and of course Instagram resets a little bit, but you can see the photo there for the road uh, advertisement. It's cut off on the top and the bottom. So let's go with 16 by nine. And now you can see the entire photo without having to scroll up and down. So where's that pig? And there he is, or her, I have no idea. But you can see the entire video now, plus some information on the top and the bottom. So that's some of the differences there. And really, it's up to you. It's your own option as to how you want to see this. Well, that's really it for this video. Like and subscribe if uh, you enjoy this type of content. I have more stuff coming. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 is my favorite phone ever. And I love the fact that Samsung is working on applications like Goodlock to allow you to customize it the way that you want. It's an incredible phone, tablet, phablet, whatever you want to call it. And I'm looking forward to the Z Fold 3. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.